Yo guys, what's up? A guide to fix LD player not detecting your already enabled uh, v VT option from BIOS. If you have not watched my recently video about how to activate your enable your VT from BIOS and Windows operating system, just check out my I button video. So if you have already followed the tutorial on how to enable VT but LD player detects that your VT virtualization technology is still disabled you need to check whether you have disabled the hardware resistant virtualization function in Avast antivirus unchecked some windows features from windows PC and toggled off the core isolation Okay now the step number one is here just type here or click on the windows icon then type control panel Now here you need to click on the program in the program uh, you need to find the turn on windows features on or off simply click on it and it will show you a small window now here you need to turn on some options like hyper-v just check this option and click on the plus icon to turn on the further options scroll down and turn on the virtual machine platform and also the windows hypervisor platform just turn these options on in some pcs you need to turn on these options and in some pcs you need to turn off these options like i'm using core i5 third generation and without turning these options uh, it's worked super fine but uh, on my uh, older pc like core to do recently i was working on them and uh, for that i just uh, turn on these options then uh, i get the vt option on my blue stack and uh, Nox player anyways now try both options and after that just restart your PC now the second step is here you need to uh, just go into the integrity in Windows security just uh, in Windows 10 you need to search here the Windows security in Windows 11 you can just directly search for the uh, core isolation and then you will get this option just go there and turn off this option as well now if you are using the Avast uh, antivirus then go into the Avast antivirus menu and uh, then go click on the settings after that just go into the uh, troubleshoot option and just uncheck the enable hardware assistant virtualization it will solve your issue now I'm just explaining here my experience about the virtualization technology recently I was using uh, my older PC uh, core to do E8400 the 8th generation processor uh, in that processor, uh, I'm just showing you here the control panel option, programs, and features. Now, in that PC, first I need to uh, I did the turn on these options: the Hyper-V and the pla uh, virtual platform, machi machine platform, and hypervisor platform as well. After enabling this, then I just rest re restart my PC and turn on from BIOS the VT option, and then that's it. Uh, that's work in that PC now in core i5 uh, i'm just telling you about here the if uh, like these options are not import important in core i5 i simply go into the bios settings and just turn the bio virtualization option the vt option and that's it it's work super fine on any emulators uh, i don't know now between these two options uh, what's going on here anyways uh, try both options guys and uh, i hope that it's work for you have a good day bye bye